Ross, first of all, I'd never heard of your name before until you got in touch with the station. Uh, how would you describe your music and tell us about your style? It's quite hard to describe my music, actually. Um, I'd like to describe myself as alternative. That's what I class myself as um, on iTunes. But I don't have my stuff on iTunes, just for the record, just when I put my own stuff up on my own iTunes. But... I try to be a bit by, a bit more diverse because I like to keep the audience uh, entertained. You know, when you get some certain, um, not naming any names, certain pop stars who write the same sort of music, same sort of tune, and I find that a little bit um, a bit mundane. So I like to go out on stage saying, this is a country song I wrote, which I've wrote a country song, but I don't consider myself to be a country artist. So a, a mix and match, but definitely acoustic alternative uh, genre. And do you write all your own material? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, I do covers on stage. Uh, maybe a couple in a 13 song set but mostly my own stuff I do on stage Where do you find the inspiration to write your, your music and songs? Uh, definitely from, from real life experiences so sometimes there's two months in between writing um, certain songs because nothing's happened to me I'm sitting in my room going come on, come on, need inspiration but I can't force a song out and if I do it wouldn't be very good and if I did manage to get a good song out it wouldn't be anything I believed in so I'd be on stage just being like playing covers because when I put lots of heart in my songs and when the audience heard it and I feel I look back to the memories of what I wrote the song about it just all comes flooding out and I don't start crying on stage or anything but um, it definitely comes across as more energetic I feel and I feel more positive about my performance afterwards So you'd say one of these things the more you put in the more you get out of it kind of thing Yeah, you've got to speculate to accumulate Yeah. Yep. Ross, you're no stranger to radio. You're involved with Edinburgh's Castle FM as well, aren't you? What's your role over there? I was, I was anyway. Um, I joined this work experience uh, for the JET programme, which is uh, a programme you can do at schools. I'm sure uh, some listeners will know about that. And I really enjoyed working there. So I asked to be a volunteer and I just signed up and I continued being a radio v- presenter as a volunteer there on Saturdays. But my show was <laughs> pulled. <laughs> it wasn't my show. I was just a co-presenter. Um, and I joined sort of at the the dying end of it, but to to all efforts, it just just wasn't to be. Well, but we'll have to poach you for Radio West Fife then. <laughs> um, you've had some involvement in the X Factor as well, which uh, led to a performance through at the Glasgow Concert Hall. How did that all come about? X Factor. Was it not? Was it not the X Factor? I've been reading. I, I, I typed your name into Google, and I found some information uh, that said you you'd had some involvement with the X Factor. No, not the X Factor. I did audition for Britain's Got Talent, but I never uh, got anywhere. Maybe the wrong that. Ross Arthur. Maybe. <laughs> um, I did Edinburgh's Got Talent, uh, and I reached the final, and I performed in the Edinburgh Playhouse. Um, back in October and because there was a producer in the audience there who knew one of the judges the judge got in contact with me saying um, it's for a charity concert would you like to be involved because the guy called Angus who used to be on the news actually uh, Angus Angus Simpson uh, he was definitely a name that I know. yeah yeah he had a, oh it's look back at the videos it's funny I took took the mick out of his hair uh, <laughs> 90s hairstyle <laughs> definitely Ooh. a bit dodgy but yeah yeah I played the Royal Glasgow Concert Hall brilliant experience the video was up on YouTube it just went up at the end of last week definitely something that I look back to and really enjoyed and I uh, hope to do it again sometime. How many people were you in performing in front of? At the concert hall, I think it was uh, 2,000, or wow. maybe slightly less, because um, I don't know if they sold it out, but at the Edinburgh Playhouse it was almost 3,000. They almost sold that out. So, But it doesn't really make much, much of a difference when I'm performing in front of 3,000 people, or 40. And actually the smaller gigs in front of five or six people are the scarier ones, because yeah, I hate making eye contact with four or five people. Again and it's, again and again. It's just when you're singing a love song and look at some old guy's, <laughs> old guy's eyes, it's not exactly comfortable. But when you're performing to 3,000 people, the lights really cover up the back. So you can only see the first 10 rows or something, and they're still quite dark. So you're just looking across, and you're not really making eye contact. So yeah, it's, yeah, it's a bit more comfortable. It's a great experience. When it's, I would recommend it, by the way. Yeah, just yeah, go play, good stuff. play the concert hall. So um, do you want to play one of your tracks live for us just now? I, I will. I've got a few um, prepared, but um, this one's called Positivity Drought. All the time, gotta go. Everything is scattered around my floor. Two arms in my sleeve. Gonna make like a tree and quickly leave authority screams. Ask the question, but I don't know. I don't know. Do you give a damn about me? It doesn't show. It doesn't show. I'm gonna go. 
time to make up, we fall out again. That's the day that I'm quitting, being your friend. Your innocence comes with ignorance, where they try to start it out. Now I'm stuck in a positivity drought. You denied my surreal future for us. I just cannot see we are just no longer you and me. Me and you, I wrote a song, I must be sad, I hope you're glad, hope you're glad, I'm really mad, every time we make up we fall out again. Since comes with ignorance when I try to sort it out Now I'm stuck in a positivity drought You denied my story of future for us I just can't see the thumb of me behind my back Tell you all my pieces is gonna crack Then you lie to my face You're a person that I'll no longer chase Being you are through your infamous reputation precedes you This really wasn't great If a story comes along then you will be too late Authority screams and asks a question But I don't know, I don't know Do you give a damn about me? It doesn't show, it doesn't show I'm gonna go Every time I make up we fall out again Every time we make up, we fall out again. <laughs> That's the day that I'm quitting, being your Gonna talk anymore to you. I've shut my door to my eyes. Do not look. I've even deleted you on my Facebook. We're not gonna talk anymore. Not gonna talk anymore. Hey. Superb, wow. absolutely <laughs> superb. Well that and truly great. impressed. That, Thank uh, you much. That, that, it just kind of came out of nowhere. I wasn't quite expecting that, but completely blown away there. So much so that I started throwing things about the studio. <laughs> um, Ross Arthur on Radio West 5 playing uh, live music for us. What was that track called, Ross? It's called Positivity Drew. Positivity. Yep. Can people find that online anywhere? Um, you can. Um, you could, since you're listening on internet, internet radio, oh, I've got my tongue twister today, <laughs> um, uh, it'd be easy for you to check it out. It's um, facebook.com forward slash Ross Arthur Musician. If that's too too much to ask, just put in the search bar on Facebook, Ross Arthur, you'll find it, or Google Ross Arthur, and you'll find all the stuff there. And it's all free to download, free to listen to, and I'd really appreciate it if you could give me a wee thumbs up, a wee like on my Facebook to we, show that you're listening. We we shall certainly do that. And uh, we've had an email in already. Oh, uh, I don't know if you can read that on the screen there I just now. No. It's uh, from Anne and Andy Green. I think <laughs> you know them as uh, Gran and Granddad. Oh, they're, yeah. They're really oh, I was getting all excited. <laughs> <laughs> they're really proud of you, what you're doing, and they're saying congrats. Congratulations on uh, your exam results as well. So yeah. I take it that went well. It did. I got um, two threes, three twos, and two ones. Ah, class what? Mm? Class what? Class what? Swat. Swat. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm certainly not one, <laughs> no, one <no>. of those. <laughs> yeah, we were talking just a second ago there. Um, well, I thought X Factor, but no, it was Edinburgh's Got Talent. Have you taken part in many other competitions like that? Um, I have. I did a competition called Live and Unsigned, and most recently 
uh, Britain. I can't remember. I can't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> Look on my Facebook, you'll find out. Um, but really, I'm straying away from the competitions because they're not really my thing, and they're not. Uh, I, I don't want to bad mouth anyone, but they're not really. Um, that helpful if you know what I mean there. It's not more the direction the, you're taking your more about the green in. lettuce sort of thing. <laughs> talking about uh, the old green lettuce and making a bit of cash, I believe you've got extremely busy weekends just now. Pubs and clubs here, there and everywhere. Um, I have in the last uh, few weeks, especially being off on holiday from school, I've been able to just get any gig I possibly can. Uh, to the dislike of my parents, I got told off for just booking gigs in Ayrshire and they didn't know anything about it. But yeah, I get bit more busy than I used to be and especially I'm getting a lot more paid gigs um, except the last paid gig I did I forgot to pick up the payment so I ran back causing myself a leg injury and they <laughs> dished out my payment to the other band so oh uh, never good now they're going to double it up for next time I go through but that was in Glasgow and I just I wasn't I wasn't too happy <laughs> <laughs> no I don't I don't think I would be either um, so the Edinburgh festivals up and running in a big mm-hmm. way just now have you got any involvement in that I think I have. Uh, I applied to be um, a part-time busker on the Royal Mile because you need um, a sort of pass and um, a set. You get given a set. I got an email through the other day saying I had a, I had a set on Sunday at half six, but I didn't know where. It did say in the title enclosing this email is your performance uh, whereabouts, but it wasn't. So I don't know <laughs> where I'm going. I've been trying to get a hold of them to uh, confirm that I have actually got a set in the fringe. Uh, Royal Mile and uh, where I'm where I'm playing and where to pick up my pass and everything. As soon as you know, get it onto our Facebook page as well, and hopefully some people will come across and. Hopefully, there's a there's a fringe radio station I believe called Fresh Air in Edinburgh. Fresh Air, yeah, yeah student, the student. Yeah, I'll be radio, going on yeah. there on Sunday. Oh, nice yeah, one. So, yeah. Nice one. We'll have to have a wee listen to that. Despite being a really busy chap, you seem to squeeze in a bit of charity work as well. What charities have you been working with? I did Maggie's Cancer Support. I played at their Christmas uh, fete. Is it fete or fete? Because I cannot, it's French. Well, there's there's a big debate about this. We had a church fete we covered with Radio West Fife uh, Mm -hmm. last weekend, and I was calling it a Curis and Toryburn church fete (laughs) because fete made it sound doomed. (laughs) <laughs> and, uh, I may have been wrong, I'm, I'm not sure Your Christmas feet, no uh, yeah, It doesn't sound quite No, right. it doesn't sound right <laughs> But I got three in French, I should know it Either way, I played that It was like a sort of party in their office And um, I just I just played for people And I, at Christmas time I went around the hospital beds And wards, uh, Western General Hospital in Edinburgh And just played them a few songs And in October, I'm actually giving up my birthday for it But hey-ho, it's a Thursday No party's going on, it's a school day <laughs> next day So uh, it's for muscular dystrophy It's called Let's Be Heard Oh, uh, Mr Stuart Rennie's event uh, is it? Yeah. Uh, Stuart, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been touching him over <laughs> for email. Yeah, I've, I'm doing St Cuthbert's Church in Edinburgh, but I've uh-huh. been trying to get uh, Dunfermline. Is it the. What hall was it in Dunfermline? Uh, well, they, they never actually got back to me when they finalised. They were trying for uh, the Carnegie Hall, so. I think it, they got yeah, that, yeah. yeah and nice then the, the Sterling Albert yeah, Hall as well. Venue. Yeah, yeah. So well, I've been trying to get to play these shows as well, but they've not got back to me. So, uh, Stuart, if you're listening, please email me. Hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> so you've performed in uh, these br- these pretty big ben- ven- I'll try again. <laughs> you have, you, you, this is because I'm trying to read off a script and I don't normally do that. I've you've, got a script. You've pr- yeah, you're making up as you go along. Happy days. Um, you performed in some pretty big venues over the past years. Uh, how does it actually make you feel to step out on stage in front of you know these big crowds? That's all right. <laughs> Just all right. Nah, um, it's, 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 it is wonderful, and it's it's, it's quite weird because people say you must be scared stepping up in front of three thousand people, but it's it's been a dream to perform. Even the Ross Bandstand, which I did um, over the weekend, when I was younger, I wanted to play that. I didn't even know what I wanted to do on it. Just wanted to play it. Just I don't know. I, I've not been wanting to be a singing singer all my life, and playing the concert hall especially because it wasn't a competition it was just because somebody liked my music and wanted me, wanted me up there it was such an enjoyable experience just going out and no pressure on my shoulders and just smiling and performing one of my own songs to 2,000 people and obviously I played the same song to 3,000 people in Edinburgh's Got Talent so it, it was really good it just feels like I'm starting to accomplish something being able to perform on a stage at well, 15 um, we just turned 15 at the time and it was just just magic going places already so a bright future ahead anyway we'll get you to play another live track if that's okay just now that's okay uh, this one's a new one it's called Because of You and it's not the Kelly Clarkson song uh, three, four, five, six. just counting the frets here because <laughs> at a gig I counted the wrong frets and I started playing like this that doesn't sound right sorry guys oh, oh that doesn't sound right and I'm getting closer <laughs> and that's right nothing new that 
inspires me A blank page is all that can see Can only sing about a girl who's not nice to me All she ever does is condescend Her attitude is hard to comprehend Tell you what it feels weird now that it's an end Still just by me in geography Mothered something directed at me With that much grace to tell her To shut her face The other kids give me a look Wondering why I'm staying in class for a break Reading a book I'll tell you why I'll say it so I won't lie it's cause I have nowhere else to go Why Did you Deceive And pretend you were my friend Cause now we're done In a song I wrote That you were my friend And I'd never let that end It was you Who let it end And now we're through I suppose that it's not all bad I've wrote a few songs I never would have Because you kissed me that night And don't treat me right The girl I care for I feel to find She was nice hearted And always kind Now I'm all messed up Because of you My eyes, some tears through, and when I wipe them from my face, I decided with you no more time I would waste. Why did you deceive and pretend you were my friend? Cause now we're done. I said in a song I wrote that you were my friend and I'd never let that end. It was you who let it end and now we're through. About our time together, and it's all because of you. Can I just say, Ross, that I hope you didn't take that from life experience? Because if you did, that's the saddest time in your life that must have been. So far, in my oh, ripe old age of nearly 16. We've had an anonymous text in as well so saying, pointed. OMG, who is he? He is awesome. Oh, oh so, thank you, I mean, Mr. We don't, we don't know who sent it. Well, I appreciate that. My name's Ross Arthur. If you want to check that out, just go on Facebook and search and, Ross Arthur. And be careful when you put it into Google, though, because I obviously found another uh, Ross Arthur. <laughs> How do people find out more about you and what you do? I mean, you're obviously a very talented guy on his way up. Um, how, how, how can people keep up to date? The Facebook page, for one. Although Facebook, when you have an artist page, when you post a, a post, and if you have uh, 185 likes, which I have on my Facebook or something like that, it doesn't go to 185 people. Only Sometimes only 66 people see it. So if you do like the Facebook page, you might, might not get all my posts, but... 
I definitely keep them up to date. Although I haven't mentioned I'm going to be on the radio uh, today. I have mentioned it, but didn't post that today. But yeah, definitely um, like the Facebook, search my Ross Arthur on Facebook. Uh, make sure it's the artist account, not my personal one. I mean, we could we could be friends, we could be buddies on Facebook, but <laughs> definitely the, art, <laughs> the artist one's definitely the one to like. And yeah, I'll keep I'll keep that up to date. Keep posting that. Post links to new songs. There's another website which is linked to my Facebook called ReverbNation.com forward slash Ross Arthur. But really. That's what you want—the one you find on Google. So just just either one, and you'll you'll find them both. So, and the important question: uh, Do you have any plans to perform in Dunfermline <laughs> in the future? Um, it might be quite difficult to get gigs. I did try and get a gig um, a while ago through a booker, but they said they really wanted local artists. But I did search in Google live music bars in Dunfermline. I couldn't really find anything. There's a few live music bars in Dunfermline. There's a good few open mic nights as well. Mm. So I'll, I'll give you a list of these anyway uh, afterwards. Yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll do my best as long as my parents say it's okay to drive me because I'm not <laughs> allowed to just book gigs and school nights anymore. And <laughs> yeah, you've got to check in with Dad's taxi first, yeah. which is only fair. <laughs> Ross, thanks for coming along to Radio West Fife this afternoon. Uh, all the best for the future. And uh, I was going to kind of try and blag another track out you if that's okay. Yeah, I'll try it. I thought you were saying goodbye. I was like, I've got another track. <laughs> um, I do have another track for you and it's called words reflect on me look toward my left arm not a word do you say this isn't easy well this could last all day got a few guess today but it still isn't right but the end of a tunnel well I will to see the light are you blind can you see that your words reflect on Your words reflect on me And you know, you know That I really care But yet you still hurt me Why I just don't know But I'll still go And put up the fight Stare to the gleaming hope Wake in the morning feels like I had jet lag I don't want to start the week again It's gonna be a drag Do you really care for me? Because that I just can't see That I just can't see And you know Mr. Ross Arthur on Radio West Fife.